in the wing. Uh, you see those thick platforms that are on the second level? Unless you're standing right above those, he will hit you through the thin platforms. So there's only two safe yep. spots in here. And notice how there's three pylons in this room. This is what makes this fight so annoying. Because what you have to do is you have to... Um, because when you because when you bomb him to green, one of the bomb the lowest bomb slot is going to activate. Then when and then when you hit him again, uh, you know you know to get the second activation, what you actually have to do is you have to hit both bomb slots before the time runs out. And you actually have to wait. Yeah, you actually have to wait for him to be on a certain side of the, uh, of the room. Otherwise he'll get trapped and then you won't be able to damage Correct. him. Um, and the third time you hit him on, the third time you hit him, you have to activate all three bomb slots before he turns blue again. And on hard mode, you have just barely enough time to do that. Like, you have to be near perfect. Like, you, like, to give you an idea, you definitely can't fall at all or dilly-dally above the bomb slots. Because you, cause you can see on the second and third ones, there's a ramp on both sides. And that makes it really difficult to stay, uh, you know, stay in place up there. Yeah. That's really the hardest part, is the last two hits. I, I would personally just say the last hit, period. That was dumb. And you failed to, you know, avoid taking damage yet again, Ranku. Jesus. Well, this fight's really cheap on hard. Like, on normal, it's no problem. But on hard, it's just with the reduced time limit and... And just... You know, how much more damage he does makes this so difficult. I prefer, personally, to have the camera panned out for this fight so that I can see everything. Yeah. But it'll also help if you stop getting hit by the boss, there's you know? Because there's an option to zoom in out. But... Yeah, that I like, I love that little feature. Makes it easy to tell where he is when he's about to kick your ass. Yeah, that was good design. And I'm screwed. No, just wait down that little dip bottom part, and then when he... Okay. Okay, here's the problem. The problem is when he gets to that edge that has the uh, spider track on it, what's going to happen is he's going to fall down and... Yeah, I know. But I'm saying if you get trapped over there... Then don't continue. Just wait for him to re wait for it to reset. I know, but the thing the thing is, what you have to do for this fight is you actually have to damage him um, while he's while he moves out of the trap zone on the left. From you know, just da just hit hit him with the last bomb as he's moving all the way over there, so you have enough time to get to both of them. Just because of the way they're positioned, it's really annoying. Yeah. So what's the problem? Because you have to bomb up here, and this guy, and it's not the damage, it's just that he sends you freaking flying when he touches you. Yeah. And that's not the right side. The bomb slot's over there. You know, your past self isn't very bright. And then I managed to stay up there, just as... Ugh. Really, the game would have been much more enjoyable without this. I mean... I mean, a boss fight that where you fight your enemy as a morph ball completely is pretty unique in the game, but... The way they executed this is just so annoying. Well, how else were they going to make you fight the thing that gives you the spider ball? Right. Make you fight a giant spider? Right.
You're, yeah, very true. See, he just knocks you off the platform. And it's just, it, it's so annoying. And apparently I can't get through there. That was very freaky and I don't know how to explain what just happened on my game. Yay! Second hit. Okay. Now the hardest part of the fight's coming up. Where you actually have to hit all three. Yep. And you might not want to get hit so much. Exactly. That's why that's why I've been trying why I was uh, trying to conserve my health as much as possible for this portion of the fight because I knew I was going to lose it all here. And another thing, if you need to get on the other side of him and you get hit, boost ball through him. Uh, that really helps. But of course I can't do that because this guy is going this guy is going to most likely kick my ass. Yeah, I think he was most, most voted most likely to kill Samus back in 83. You got to think that's really something if he wasn't even if he wasn't even around. Yeah, I'm uh, screwed. I'm screwed. Uh, actually, you weren't screwed here. All you had to do was just wait. Like I said, wait in that little lower area where you wouldn't have gotten shot. No, no whatever. It doesn't Don't matter. Miss. I didn't have enough health to finish anyway.